Hi, it's Warren here, and I'm going to show you a really simple and healthier way to make salmon or mackerel tartlets using tinned fish. And they're great for canapes and buffets, or even just for a snack. And you can also find the ingredients for this recipe in the comments section below as well. Firstly, you'll need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees centigrade. Then get yourself a mixing bowl that's going to be big enough to hold all of the ingredients apart from the bread. Crack open your can of tinned fish and then separate the fish from the oils and put them in the bowl. Then get your parsley and finely chop it and then add it to the mixing bowl along with the fish. Then finely chop your chives as well along with the spring onions. Add these to the mixing bowl along with the parsley and the fish and then it's time to add in your 200 grams worth of cream cheese. Thoroughly mix all of the ingredients in the bowl together using a spoon and if you'd like to add a little bit of seasoning as well. And once everything's mixed together you should end up with something that looks like this. So we now need to prepare the base of your tartlets and to do this you'll need to put spread on one side of each of your 8 to 10 pieces of bread. Then using a circular pastry cutter that's big enough to fill the cups of a cake tin, cut circles out of the middles of each of your pieces of bread. Quickly grease the cups of your cake tin using either a little bit of oil or some more spread and then push your circular pieces of bread into each of the cups butter side up. So we've made enough mixture to fill 8 to 10 tartlets. Once all of your bread is ready in the cake tin, start filling all your tartlets up with the mixture. Once you're happy and your oven's preheated to 200 degrees centigrade, stick them in the oven and cook them for between 15 and 20 minutes, making sure you keep an eye on them as well to check they're not burning whilst they're cooking. After the cooking time, check they're nice and golden around the edge, and if you can, check they're cooked on the bottom as well. And finally, sprinkle them with a little bit more of your chopped chives, serve them whilst they're still hot, and enjoy. And be sure to check out even more of my recipes by clicking on one of the videos coming up on your screen.